Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Factorio Railworld 0.16. Playing on the 0.16.x patch. Um, really wanted to kind of jump ahead to this patch as soon as possible, as soon as I saw it come out a couple days ago, because uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. These cliffs being one of them. The uh, higher resolution textures on the, the map itself is another one. And then artillery trains, which in order to do artillery trains justice, we got to find some some baddies. So hopefully we get some of those pretty soon and uh, can get up to the trains and just try those out because they look and sound like a lot of fun. Um, let's see, in this episode, I think we're going to try and hopefully get a little bit more of our automation set up for some of our basic needs. Um, let's go ahead and finish filling you guys out. One of those basic needs being um, inserter automation. Because, yeah, things are kind of tough at the moment with uh, having to do them manually. Also, would like to get up to steel so we can stop worrying about all the wood. Because there's not a lot of wood on this map. There's, there's a bit. There's enough for us to do this early game. But not much after that. In fact, speaking of wood, let's go ahead and just get some of the stuff down here. Close by, just to kind of have it. Here's some very... Uh, cool looking trees very very wide trunks up to some uh, kind of makes more of a pointy you know kind of a narrow narrow top at the end all right let's get a couple more of you guys laid out I actually need a whole lot more of you guys just get a bunch more of you guys made up Alrighty, uh, let's get the, the the belt down the center. Give me more view as well, although thankfully we are auto producing that at the moment. Uh, let's see, we need some more iron up here just to keep the science rolling. You guys doing okay? Power's uh, how's power doing? Uh, it's getting a little tight. We might need to expand it here soon. In fact, you know what? While we're up here, let's go ahead and I say while we're up here, we're actually not going to have enough uh, stuff to do it. So we'll wait for that to a little bit longer. But we'll kind of start getting some of that stuff crafted up. So the next time we head up that direction, we can go ahead and uh, have those made up. Um, that don't work. We'll just double up on what we have up there. Oh, we're going to get a couple of you. All right, what else? Um, power poles. So let's make sure we're making a bunch of power poles for now as we're finishing off some more inserters. One too short. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get another one here in a little bit. Um, power poles are being slow, but it's all right. We'll get those as well pretty soon. Uh, so what else do we want to do? Um, I mean, we may eventually add some more iron, you know, up this direction, or maybe just add a steel thing. Actually, I kind of like that idea. Only having one line of each of these in this area, just just to get things started. It's kind of a fascinating way to go about it. That way it'll force us to really kind of lean more on the railroad, railroad side of things, which we weren't really doing as much of as I would have liked in that uh, previous real world game. But I think we're going to really force the issue in this game. See how that plays out. All right, so we've got some more power lines coming in finally. Come right here. There we go. Iron is flowing. We need one more insert on the end here, but that's all right. We'll get that soon enough. Let's run up here, hook up the power real quick while we're in the waiting on some stuff, I should say. You go there, you're going to go there with a the gap. Put a power pole right there. You know, let's put one over here on the end just, just for consistency. And a couple of you guys start filling that thing up. Perfect. There we go. Double our uh, power. Perfect. Um, 
We may like do like 10 down and then sneak around and do 10 on this side. And just kind of have like a little, little block here. We'll, we'll see how it, how it looks. I mean, we could run straight down this way for most of it. Just maybe do a little zigzag here, but um, I don't know. We'll play it by ear or whatever. <laughs> um, anything else I needed to do over here? I don't think so. So we got our iron. Oh yeah, that's right. I know what else I need to do. Because I would have easily forgotten had I waited too much longer. Fill that thing in. All right, so let's see. Automation's coming in. Um, let's make sure we get some iron and copper up here just to keep that uh, science flowing because I bet it's out of iron right now. Yes, it is. How are you doing on copper? Eh, a bit of copper. Should be enough for now. We get a few more belts. Not a lot. Actually, this one over here will need a little more iron just because it's also feeding the belt at the moment. All right, as soon as Automation 2 is done, I think we will go ahead and focus on getting the steel running in. Because that's going to lead to a lot of other things. So how do we want to set up this little bit of a system over here? I kind of think that... How do we want to do this? I kind of think just a single line of everything. And we'll just branch off as we need it, but for now, just kind of little tiny little mini bus of just... Here's our line of iron. Probably put a line of copper just above that. And we'll just have like a one line. Just feeding everything that we can for now. And then we will uh, worry about how we want to do uh, expansion at a later spot. Come on. Get in the right spot. There you go. Uh, oh, that's right. They have it where you can overwrite those things now. That's going to be very cool. I mean, also a little annoying if you do something like that. But very, very cool otherwise. Um, yeah, we'll go out and then we'll come down and hook up with you because we're still going to need room for the steel in this area. All right, so automation is finished. Let's go ahead and work on the steel. Or I should say automation two is finished. Transport belts are coming in quite slowly, but that's all right. Just pick up a whole bunch of iron, start making some by hand. Help it out overall. All right, so we will come down to here somewhere. All right, we have copper on our minibus now. And then we'll do steel beside that. And I don't know what else we'll do. And steel will come down this way. Probably we'll put a little gap here and run the steel through there, but that's going to be all right for now. Um, this is not a big bus at all. But that's all right. So how do we want to do... Green circuits. Probably put some green circuits in this area. So let's go look at our book and find our green circuit setup. What am I looking for? Is it there? This is our super green circuit setup, um, which might be more than we need at the moment. I don't think we're ever going to have super greens in this area. So what we're probably going to change is I'm going to have you just kind of sneak up here a little bit, be in that area, but I'm actually going to shave off. How do we want to do this? I'll just shave off all of this stuff from this side over and kind of shrink it in a little bit. I'm still okay with having it come from both sides. Oh, yeah, get rid of you. Um, so let's do something like that. Um, and we'll just kind of copy it over here and just have it merge into one line for the moment. Something like that. I think that will work. Yep, I think that'll work just fine. Alright, um, let's go ahead and lay you down. Actually, we need some blue. We actually need 10 total, so we're missing enough for uh, some iron. 
That'll work. All right, so you guys are gonna come up this way. And then you're gonna come up this way into a underground. Then you guys are gonna go down like that. So we'll have another one over here. It's another underground over here. Something like that. Oh, you're gonna come down and you'll just join the bus for now. That'll be all right. One set of uh, some of the basics. All right, so over here will be copper. So let's go ahead and figure out how we want to do that. I need some undergrounds though. So let's go ahead and have you make us a few undergrounds. Need a lot more belts. Come on, belts. Science is still looking okay. Actually, we're almost done with steel already. There we go. Um, what's next? Let's go get some basic armor. Just safety. Again, we haven't found any bugs yet, I don't think. Nope, but uh, better safe than sorry. Plus, it's cheap and easy to do. Come on. All right, so there's a little bit of copper. Um, this right here will be iron. So you need to be iron. And you'll be iron over here as well. So let's go and get rid of the copper just for a moment until we can figure out how this is going to look. Because it's going to be like that right there. You're going to go up like that. You're going to have to go underground because we're going to just be making that corner there. Um, sure, just do it short. That's going to be fine. All right, so there's more iron. Going out that way, and is there enough gap here for the copper to go all the way across? Yes, there is. Perfect. That will work. And then right here, the steel will eventually come across there. And let's go ahead and replace this guy down here with you, because we're going to be using you guys more often than the others at the moment. You're pretty much going forward permanently. All right, so you, oh, I kept the things. Oh, that's awesome. I don't even have an add-on for that anymore. Oh, that's so good. So good. Actually, I don't think I ever had the add-on for that, but I know there definitely was one. Well, now you don't need it. Perfect. You guys go uh, out. You guys come in. And as soon as we hook you up with power, you are good to go. There, there, and there. And let's just bring you down here somewhere. There we go. Green circuits being automated. Perfect. Let's go ahead and fill, fill out the other side because we will definitely need the other side for this. And then some like there and there. Now we need more inserters, which is kind of what we're trying to do this for anyway. And we're going to need our copper to come down here on the end, uh, right there. Perfect. Uh, steel's going to keep on running down. Well, eventually. And green circuits. And there we go. That will work. Uh, you there. And let's see. We need to pull in from here and here and spit out to there and there. And once we hook you up with power, that side is good to go as well.
Cool, perfect. No, oh, well, we have to get the stuff in the middle. Uh, right there. Just for now. We may eventually get rid of that, but that's alright. And so... Pretty good amount of stuff. Oh, I guess she wouldn't help if you were spun around. There we go, now we're working. All right, so steel, we can go ahead and set up. Let's see, do I have a steel smelter set up? Oh, a bunch of crazy setups. There's our steel setup. Plenty of space to set it right over here. Um, I do have currently the copper coming up the middle, or the cause should say coming up the middle, which it might be a better solution overall, but I think we're just going to figure it out. Actually, you know what? We're just going to do it by hand. We're going to do it by hand, and we'll be all right with that. Uh, we do need a whole bunch more smelters, or uh, not smelters, um, furnaces. Grab all of that. Let's get a bunch of that stuff coming in. Um, in fact, let's just go ahead for now, just for the sake of speed. Have you feeding in there? That way we just get a whole bunch more quicker. All right, so we'll have a belt running down the side over here. And we'll just stick it right up against the iron. I think that's gonna be fine. And then we'll have a row of you guys, a space row of you guys, and that'll be fine. I think, I don't know if we can support 24 of these down the line or not, but we will try. Come on. Not that hard. Draw a straight line, guys. And then we'll just go up one. There we go. So that's one side. Um, you come up. And where's the center? It'll be right about there. Something like that. Uh, there's going to be a line down the middle. And then we'll have our line of things at the top. Which, wow, we actually had just enough for that whole line right there. So we're going to need a whole bunch more. Uh, that's a few more. Let's get us going a little bit. If nothing else, it'll at least let us put a couple more down to get our spacing right. All right, so that's good. We're going to come up this way and go out that way. And... Something like that. Uh, and then we'll have our underground coming from here to here. Flip it around. And we'll have another splitter. There we go. Cool. That will work. Um, so, actually, what we're probably going to do, do things a little bit differently on this side of things. No, I kind of like, like the coal coming in here. So you're going to split off, do that, that way the coal can go in there. Oh, that's right, this one's going to need the coal going to the middle as well. Um, so you're actually going to have to, one, you're going to have to come up. One more level. Something like that. And then we're going to need a line of coal coming through here. And the other lines for the steel, which means right here before you do that little blip, you're going to have to split off. Um, that's not quite what I'm looking for. Um, I guess we could do it here. That's why that other design was a little bit better, I guess. No, that's not going to work either. Uh, okay, we're gonna do it differently then. I think since we gave ourselves the extra space, we can actually move you up one. To there. Come in here. There. Do that. There we go. And that. That's gonna work. Um. And then this right here will be iron. Uh, I wish we should probably do a whole another line of iron. Um, not gonna be able to get up through here, are we? Uh, there's a little gap right here. 
So let's just plan that our iron is going to come in through here and kind of link up with that. We'll bring another lineup from, from the south. But to do that, we're going to need a whole bunch more belts. More belts. Why are you making so few belts? Because you don't have any iron. More iron. We're trying. We're getting there. We're close. Start making some belts by hand. And we'll put a bit more iron up in this box up here as well. Alright, that's good for now, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and get this other side kind of laid out a little bit. Something like that. And that will be perfect. Need some long handled uh, inserters very soon as well. Uh, we're also going to need some more miners. Can we need more everything? All right, well, let's go get some more iron because we're going to need more miners for sure. Just to kickstart this whole thing anyway. Bunch of iron. Bunch of miners. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish up this steel thing in next time. For now, we're going to go ahead and put another cut in here. Um, once we get the steel set up, then we can start doing some of the, uh, kind of these early, uh, things like, um, you know, power poles and, and inserters and boxes and all sorts of things that will really get us going. So uh, I do appreciate you watching and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.